Hello, my beautiful people. I had a crazy experience. I have to tell you about it. So I went to pull runes this morning, and, like, I pulled the reading, and it didn't resonate at all. Like, at all. Like, it didn't... I mean, I know what all the stones meant, right? It, but it didn't, like... I couldn't feel the meaning. I couldn't... Normally, I hear or sense what I think it's talking about. And as you saw yesterday, sometimes in the middle of a reading, I'm like, no, no, wait... And some, that's how it happened after a reading. I think about it for a little bit. I'm like, wait, no, this is what that's about. So I, th I was like, I'm going to pull new stones or something because I'm not getting a reading here. And then I thought my bag felt really light, right? Now, it feels heavier because I have the Iona stones in it, right? So without the Iona stones, it felt really light. I'm thinking, well, maybe, maybe like some of the stones fell out, like, because I, I take these with me everywhere. So maybe they fell out or something. So... I don't know. So let me count them. Let me look through and make sure they're all there. And I dropped one. And it just bounced off the table and it flew to the ground. I'm like, oh, well, that must be one I should look at. I cannot find it. Now, I have over to this side of me, to my right, in the corner, I have all my backpacking stuff. And then to my immediate right, I have my uh, 3D printer. And then I have, like, storage and stuff, like, on that, by that window. Then behind me, I have... um Oh, and my bagpiping stuff is over there. Then behind me, I have uh, my piano and stuff. And then over here, I have, like, arts and crafts stuff. And my desk is over here. And, you know, like, but there isn't a whole lot of floor space because I have um, some containers in here. There's, like, not a lot of places that this stone could go. And I cannot find it. I even had Dave come up. We looked under everything with a flashlight. I can't find it. And so I'm like, okay. So I sit down. And I'm like, all right, well, let me go through and see which stone it was. It was Sawilo. I'm missing Sawilo. Now, if you follow the channel, you know I have a blank stone. So whenever I pull that blank stone, I'm going to consider it Sawilo. But I can't find it. So I'm thinking about, like, I did, like how this reading didn't resonate for me. Nothing resonated for me. And yesterday, like, in the middle of the reading, I got this sense about these folks who are lost in the tit the Titan and the Titanic's uh, submersible. And I'm like, this is, this is how that must feel. Like, I mean, obviously not a comparison, but it just slipped away. And I have absolutely no idea where it is. And I've looked at, I mean, I got on my hands and knees on the floor and like was with my flashlight and I couldn't find it. And then I just get the sen sense that it's hidden behind something. It's hidden behind something. And I think the submersible is going to be hidden behind something. Something is blocking the view. And, you know, this, the, the sound that they're hearing or that were, they were hearing, I don't know if they still are, every 30 minutes. Um, I don't know if, it's a, if they're doing the SOS in Morse code. I don't know if they know it or not, um, the people on board. But, um, like, maybe that's echoing off of something. Like, it's like, I don't know. But that's the sense I get. So then... Um, and then like, just like these three weird things happened. So that happened. And then another weird thing happened. And then Dave slipped and fell. Um, and, uh, you know, just, he didn't hit his head or anything. He didn't, he didn't on, on our hardwood floor or anything, but it was just like these three things happened real quickly. And, uh, I don't know. I just think that maybe, I don't know, maybe spirits just saying like, they're behind something like they're going to find the vessel like stuck and it's going to be behind something and it's going to be in plain sight, but hard to see. That's the sense I'm kidding. I don't know, but I'm going to read runestones with the runestones I have left. I'm going to try to see if some of my Scottish friends can send me Scottish stones because I did. I bought these in Scotland and I was so connected to them right away and I love them. They're pretty. Um, but then when I looked at the tag, I found out they weren't actually made in Scotland and I really wanted to. Um, I really, really wanted to uh, have stones that were made in Sc that were from Scotland and I have stones, but I don't I don't have 24 stones. So um, to make my own my own set. So. I guess I'm going to have to go back to Scotland and get 24 stones of my own. I guess that's what's going to happen for my own. All right. So let's get a rune reading from whatever energy could reside with me or you. Let's see if a message will come out now. So weird that, that I didn't get any kind of reading. It was like it was, I just got the sense like this isn't the reading. Like the, don't bother because this isn't a reading. This isn't a reading. Which is strange. That's never happened before. 
All right, we have Othala in the present position. What is, we're going to do three norns. What's our past position? What got us to Othala? Not this, need, not this. I didn't mean to lose the, one of my precious stones. I'm hoping my cats find it, and then they kind of pull it out. Because they like to play with stuff, so maybe they'll find it and bring it where I can see it. That's the outcome. Interesting, this was also the outcome in the other reading, too. Algies. So, interesting. Let's see, I'm going to pause for a hot second. I'll be right back. So, this is an interesting an interesting spread, given what happened with the stones. So, Athala is a really good, it's about sharing ancestral wisdom and, and um, being connected to the divine. And... Um, uh, Athala itself, I handed Andy book, um, means inheritance. So ancestry, possessions, heritage, experience values towards enlightenment, journey, our duty to help others, better the world, share knowledge and prophecy. So I don't know if that means like the rock, this, the stone that flew down, like that's just, you know, they're going to, they're, I, I don't know that they're ever going to find this vessel. I don't think I'm ever going to find this rock. I don't know. It's going to have to be brought to light through like intervention from the cats or spirit or fairies or something. Um, Cause I mean, I've looked everywhere and, and Dave looked everywhere and we can't find it. Right. And I think that same is going to be true about that vessel. Um, and we got to this energy with this, like not this, like, like, you know, this thorn, you know, not this is a, is one of the menacing stones and, uh, you know, th it means need, uh, restriction, conflict, not this, necessity, distress, life lesson for development, opposite to heart, must act or take action, life out of control, don't wait till it's too late, realistic view of the world, an obstacle created by you or by others, you know, I, these folks created this obstacle for themselves and we all have to learn a lesson from it, right? We all have to learn a lesson from it. And then the algae which means elk, you know, is, is a decent outcome because it, it just says, you know, you've learned the lesson, share the lesson, communicate it with others, help others, you know, benefit from the lesson, you know, so we can learn from what, what went on, you know, like what happened to these folks. And then I want to read Sawilo too, because that's the one that went missing. Sawilo means sun, which is like one of the nicest, you know, along with Gibo, it's like one of the nicest stones in, in the, the alphabet. Undoes harm of the other stones, health, honor, resources, and victory, wholeness, cleansing, joy, extremely positive, favorable omen, success, ha happy, success, happy outcome. You know, that it's lost. I think that just means that they're not going to find, they're not going to find it. They're never going to find this, this vessel without, <coughs> excuse me, the intervention of something else. So we have to learn a lesson from it. You know, again, the Titanic is not a carnival attraction. The pyramids are not a carnival attraction. Stonehenge is not a carnival attraction. Iona is not a carnival attraction. If we go to these places with reverence and um, with interest in learning and connecting with our ancestors and connecting with the earth, you know, intention is 100% of the law. And um, if your intention is to gawk and treasure hunt and look at, you know, oh, what can I, what can I get? What can I see? You know, without paying respect, <clears throat> you know, you know, to the mountain of Everest, to the Titanic down below, to outer space, wherever it is you're at, you know, show reverence, show reverence to spirit and thankfulness and gratitude. So that's a, the sense I'm getting. I've moved everything around in this quest to look for the, for these stones, for the stone. Let's see what uh, Celtic spirit has to say. Let's see if I'm on the right path. Me think spirit, am I on the right path? crazy. If any of you are uh, seers, please see my stone and tell me where it is. 
or if you live in Scotland or Ireland or in any of the Celtic nations and can send me 24 stones, I'd appreciate it. See if Spirit has anything to add. Pass one. Pass two. And pass three. Interesting. We got the gatekeeper. I get this card a lot, and I love this card usually because it's like somebody, you know, it's like a dragon protecting its treasure. But I can't help but think of this of of, of this as a porthole, you know, where this, you know, these very very wealthy people are watching from inside, and they their wealth is out there. So I think, you know, this might be the Titanic where all the wealth and jewels are in there they they can see it from where they are they can see the titanic wreck from where they are and or could i i have a feeling in my heart of hearts that they're no longer alive but i think wherever they are they're hidden behind something near the titanic and they could see the titanic from where they were and then herbs medicine and healing with the herbalist i kind of had to shake this one out so maybe this doesn't ne necessarily apply um, but again, you have that porthole, right? So they have that porthole, and maybe they're able to see. You know, that's what's kind of striking is they they were able to see like sea vegetation. So they're on they're on the sea floor, they're behind something, but they can see the Titanic. Um, I don't know. This is weird. Um, I mean, I definitely have a sense about these folks that are lost, and typically. I don't think much too, too much about sea explosions. I mean, there's a whole ship of immigrants who's been lost um, off the coast of, like, Italy or Greece or somewhere. And, uh, you know, that's hundreds of people. And nobody's, you know, sending out, you know, boats and all the best equipment to find them. You know, I think all human life is worth finding. I mean, it shouldn't matter if you're a billionaire or, or a person trying to immigrate to another country. If a boat crashes, we should go look for the people. I think I never realized how close the Titanic was to the states. Because it is this, the United States and Canada that are doing all the, the work there. Uh, this other shipwreck is somewhere else. But I, I guess I never realized how close it was. That it had almost made it to New York. I didn't know that. Maybe in a past life, I was one of the Titanic people caught on the ship. And that's why I feel connected to the story. Because I'm not a Titanic like fan. I mean, I've seen the movie, which is all fiction, you know, and I'm, I'm kind of interested in it. I've never really watched any shows about it or anything. Um, I always get incredibly sad when I think about it. And I think of the poor people. Um, because my, my family came over to Ellis Island and uh, they were in passage. So. Had that boat sank, they would have been sunken. It's getting a little bit witchy woo woo over here. All right, let's see. Let us see what uh, Earth Wisdom says. Last one. And pass three. Here we have self acceptance. We have, oh, the healing grief again. Got that yesterday. Grace and shadow treasures. Wow. So, self acceptance and grace, you know, accept who you are. Apparently, this is my gift. I've been asking what my gift is, and I'm sensing a lot of things about this, this ship. I don't know why, because I don't know anybody on it. Healing grief and shadow treasures, like, you know, accepting who we are and 
and really healing from it. There's going to be a lot of healing needed. Um, you know, because like I said yesterday, it's not just, I mean, our heart goes out to the families of these folks, but also the responders, because they're trying everything they can. They're trying all the things they can to find them, and nothing is working, and that's that's frustrating. And that creates, um, you know, that creates feelings and emotions, too, um, to be so helpless in when your job is to help. And um, so my heart goes out to the responders as well and to the families. So I don't know if this kind of situation metaphorically figures into you, but I definitely think I'm getting a read about this, this ship thing again. It's behind something. They can see, they can see the Titanic from where they are. There's vegetation there, um, but they're not going to find it without the help of, of something, either a current or a crab, you know, move it. I don't know, not a crab. A crab isn't strong enough, but, you know, like a current that moves it or something that helps it along um, to move it into view. But it's like, it's there. It's where they're looking, but it's behind something. That is the sense that I am getting. I doubt anybody from Ship Recovery is going to see this video and uh, take stock in it, because I'm just seeing it behind something. I don't know. That's what I see. I see it behind something where they can see vegetation so it's on the floor um so it's not in the titanic because that's happened apparently in the past it's not in the titanic but it can see the titanic so it's either behind vegetation or be like behind i don't know what's on the bottom of the floor big you know vegetation or coral or whatever is there it's behind something and um i don't know wishing you all the best in light and love make good choices Wishing the best to the the recoverers, the first responders, the families, and the victims of both the immigrant boat sinking and uh, this particular sinking. Be well. Bye-bye.